Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. I've been on vacation with my friends. They're pretty fucking crazy, so a lot of my brain cells are dead. So I'll try my best to teach you guys on how to make a main menu, a really simple one, in today's video with the remaining brain cells I have. So, um, vacation was pretty good. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. So, um, right now, uh, I'll show you guys how you can do this. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you're thinking, if you're talking about, if you're thinking about the adventure game tutorial series, it's coming back. I've been working on a couple of things that do require some more time and a bit more effort. So bear with me. They're pretty cool things. I'm not going to spoil anything, but um, they're coming soon. So stay around for that. Right now, we're going to make this simple main menu. So this main menu is going to have three buttons. One to start the level one, the level two, and one for you to quit the game. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. It's not 2D, it's UI related. If you, uh, not 2D, 3D. If you want a 3D main menu, that's a different story. I can make a different video about that, but right now we're sticking to the simple UI related main menu. We have this main menu script. It's uh, pretty simple. So um, we have a public void, which I call load by index, and um, it, lo it does exactly that. It loads a level um, using a, a, an index that you uh, set. Before this, it's because it used the scene manager to load levels. You have to say using unity.engine scene management management, and here just say scene manager dot load scene, and it loads the scene index that is the local variable of this um, function. So, what basically, if you do not understand what this is, this is a local variable that you get to set in each. Let me show you. I'll just create a button real quick. So in these buttons and other UI things, but I'm using buttons right now, so that's why I'm showing you how you do it with buttons. You have this on click um, function, and when you click plus, uh, when you add the object that you want, and when the object has the main manuscript on it, it's gonna display uh, a number numbers that you can set. It's gonna do like an empty field where you can place your number. That's the local variable which is called scene index. And it takes that number that you display here and it checks with the build settings, the numbers over here, and it uh, changes to the uh, number that you've selected over here. So if I put number one, it's going to load the scene that has number one index written on it. If I put number two, it's going to load this scene and so forth. So before you do anything, um, actually, I'll do it at the end. I'll just delete all three of these. So it's like you guys. So let me explain the rest of the script. Uh, that's for the loading of the levels. Now here we ha we can actually quit the game, and I've made it so you can test it if it works in your um, Unity, um, in your scene, in your editor. You do not have to like build the game and test it because before you couldn't do this. Now you can. Uh, basically, I check it. Uh, I made a public void quit, and it checks. So if you're running this in the Unity editor. It's going to say Unity Editor, Editor Application is playing false, so it's going to stop the play mode and switch to the scene mode. Else, if it's an application, it's going to quit. So application.quit. And that's that. So here, how we set this up is, I'll delete this. We're gonna, I'm going to create a button. Um, let's go to 2D view, click F, see the button. I'll put it in the center of the screen. I'll hold Shift and... Um, make it so it's proportionate oh it's too big i'll put it like this put it over here i guess and i'll go to the text i'll change the text to for example level one uh font size maybe 26 i'll change the font to this one's okay you can play around with this as much as you like i'll, I'll just leave it playing like this so i'll call this level one and in the button um, thing make sure interactable is ticked up but uh, it's usually ticked so you do not have to change that on click function click the plus uh, button and drag the button that you just created onto the object and over here at the no function set the function to the oh see it doesn't display anything it only displays the functions of the button the image canvas render and the other thing the other components that the object has that's because we haven't added the script yet so go ahead and add the main manuscript to the object now you can see that you have this main menu thing and now it's uh, puts all of the put 
outputs all the things that you can change inside the main menu, but we only need two, one for the quit and one for the load by index. So just put the load by index, and as you can see, the load by index takes an integer next to it, and you can set the integer. So because it's level one, I'll put uh, the index number one on it. Now I'll duplicate this. I'll just call it level two. You can do this with this with as much as levels as you need, and I'll change the index to number two. And I'll create. I'll uh, let me just drag it down. So, oops. I'll just uh, drag it down. I'll change the height of it a bit by I guess like 40. Oh no, no, that's the dimensions I wanted to change the position. Maybe 160, 150. No, 150. 120 uh, 110 let's go 110 so that's and I'll change this to 180 oops and now we're gonna create and change the text to level 2 okay so now the uh, third thing that we want to do is uh, we're gonna create the quit one so let's call this quit I'll, uh, I'll put this one further down, uh, for example, I'll put it over here, I guess. It doesn't have to be proportionate because this is the quit button. And uh, I'll make this like smaller. You can, you can do whatever you want, you can play around with it. Now I'll go to the text, make it smaller, 20, and I'll say uh, quit. And um, now we're going to go to the button, change to main menu, and change it to the quit. So that's basically it. Now if we try playing the game, we go back to a little scene. It's pretty nice. And if you click level 1, as you can see it says scene 1 with build index could not be loaded because it has not been added to the build setting. So level 2, level 1 doesn't work. Quit does work. Let me just show you. So when you click quit, it stops the play mode and if you're if you're playing it with an application with like if you go went ahead and built and run uh, if you were playing it and click quit the game would just like shut down so now because it says that we haven't added anything to the build settings so that's because the build uh, the scene manager has to have the scenes in the build settings in order to know which indexed which scene is indexed with what number so I'm going to add the tutor menu, which is the main menu. I'm going to add it as the zero index, the tutor as the first one, and the test one as the second level. So now when you click X, we click X, and when you play, let's click level one. It put me in an all blank room, which is pretty cool. Um, that's basically the level. I don't know what level it is. And click level two. We have a different one. And you, you could have saw, seen that over here it says set the levels. So that's a pretty simple way of making main menus. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, pretty simple tutorial. As I said, Adventure Game tutorial series coming back really soon. I'm making something pretty cool. Just to have be patient and everything's going to be out soon. If you guys want to support me and get to talk to me over Skype or Discord or wherever you want, go ahead and donate. Um, you, or you can wait until the the people who donate now are going to get the Adventure Game series, tutorial series, um, get the whole project when it's complete. Or you can wait until the project is complete and then have a set amount that you need to donate so you can get it. If you donate, also you get my Skype, you get to ask me, you get to do, you get to call me, you can do whatever you want if you have any issues with tutorials I'm making or have any questions or something is not working, etc. And uh, also uh, follow me on Instagram, I might be doing a giveaway soon, a video about that is, um, I know, Unity giveaway, what the hell, uh, I mean a project giveaway soon, so you can follow me there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, um, tutorial series coming up soon, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.